Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but I figured now that the holidays are over, I would go ahead and give another go at my Star Wars fan edit and how I am going about the color correction slash color grading process. So here I am inside of DaVinci Resolve and I have the Blu-ray footage imported. I'm just going to go ahead, I'm on the timeline as you can see on the cut tab. I'm just going to go ahead and scroll over to like a random point within the film. Alright, and then I'm going to go ahead and over to the uh, color tab here. And let me take this off of split screen mode just so that I'm focusing on the one shot. Now with the first note select selected, this is what I'm going to go ahead and do to remove like the color cast. I'm going to go over to the curve settings here. And I'll start with blue, and I'm just going to take the top plate and drag it, you know, almost all the way down, but, you know, just a little bit above, above the floor there. And I'll do the same with the greens. And then the reds. So as you can see, what I'm doing here, it's not completely desaturated. It's still leaving some colors here. Like, you can see the blue on R2's uh, dome panels. And you can see a bit of gold or yellow on 3PO. Yeah. But this just kind of got rid of the strong color cast and it kind of made it look made it look like a raw log footage. So let me go ahead and name this color cast remove. And I'm gonna go ahead and add another node here by right clicking and then add uh, add node, add serial. I'm going to go ahead and call this white balance. And then I'll add another node here. And I'll call this uh, saturation. So with the saturation node selected, I'm going to go ahead and increase the saturation all the way up to 100. Now we still got that color cast back here, but this is what the white balance node is going to come in handy for. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the number two pad here, and I'll just go ahead and decrease the temperature a little bit just until we see some white and grays that look more natural. So I think maybe minus 500 seems about right there. There are some colors yet that I still want to bring back, like uh, the skin on Luke and his hair, along with the color on 3PO. So let's go ahead and add another node here. And I'm going to go ahead and go over to the hue saturation curves. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on each of the color sections here within the hue saturation line. And I will go ahead and increase the saturation of the yellows here. And I might also do the same with the reds there. I don't want to go too strong, but just till we bring the color back a bit some. And I also want to check the skin as well. So I'm going to go to the Windows tab here. I'm going to click on our power curve, and then I'll just draw a mask on his hand here, just so that I have a portion of his skin sample. And then I'll go over to the hue versus hue curve. I'm going to do the same as I did with the saturation line. Just draw a line on each point. I'll just take the red here and drag that down a little bit just so that the white line here is lining up with the skin tone line there. I can go ahead and shut that off now. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and compare the before and after. So 
So, R2's dome panels are kind of less saturated than the uh, original Blu-ray footage, so let's just go back to our hue saturation and then maybe just up the blues some. Alright, so that's looking better there. Now, some of these notes are subject to change depending on the scene. Like, let's go ahead and sk yeah, skip over to the binary sunset. I'm just going to hold down control and then the uh, forward slash key. That's going to break the scene up here. So I'll click on the white balance node here and I'm going to reset that. And then let me go ahead and just bring the temperature back a little bit. And same with the tint, just so that it's less magenta. I don't want it to be too cool, you know, we're going for a sunset look, so we still want to see some of that sunset effect on Luke. And then let's see if I can just go ahead and jump forward to another scene here where I would have to alter the nodes. All right, so this is a little too blue. So let's reset the node on the white balance. And that's too yellow, so let's go ahead and take the temperature down a little bit. About 400 seems to look pretty good there. But you can see their skin looks a lot better in this one. Some of the parts may be a bit dark here, so what I'll do... Um, I might actually just rename this to, like, uh, Grade. And then maybe just take the midtones up a bit some, just so that it's not so dark. There we go, that's looking better. I'm going to go ahead and just go back to where the scene began. Just so that I can split it. Now let me just see if I can jump forward to the point. Or maybe we'll just skip over to the Battle of Yavin.
Oh, if you also look back here. You'll see that it also corrected the uh, flashes. They're a bit more natural looking instead of magenta. So anyways, that's how I got my basic notes set up when it comes to color correcting the film. And like I said, they uh, the values within the nodes are subject to change depending on what scene or what shot you're looking at here. But this overall just takes care of the color cast that the films were plagued with so that the colors within the shot look more natural. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope to have more out soon. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that thumbs up for more content.